Hello to everybody watching and listening and welcome back to Megabellum. Playing against... Oh, um, hang on. Let me put that name in a translator because I clearly forgot. I already checked and I think it was just a normal name. Uh, but I need to translate the, I believe, Russian letters into... Well, however you call the letters we use in German and everything. Mr. Batosha here. And yes, it is Russian. All right, let's speed along. We're going to do some aggro defense and uh, guess who didn't take a look at my opponent's board? Places the sledges in the usual positions, adds some arc lights for added chaff clear and then realizes, oh wait, I'm up against steel balls. Oh, okay. Well, I better reposition everything vertically and see what I need to do. Honestly, I think I might have had to get uh, either marksmen or crawlers in this case here. So, round number one, opponent is going aggro, almost half of my units going nowhere useful. This is not gonna end well, like you know this isn't gonna end well. Of course this arc light gets completely smashed, but not before it smashes absolutely all of my chaff. That could even remotely maybe have a chance at doing something good. Fangs still useless against crawlers, every now and then they can plink one down. And in the first round, I do get absolutely steamrolled. Tower debuff at a very unfavorable time. I would have very much liked the enemy to be like here before the debuff starts. But yeah, this is, I want to say this is about a worst case round almost. I don't particularly know what could make this more worse than it is right now at least. Because my opponent's steel ball is also leveled. Sucks to be me. We have haste module. I'm kind of thinking of maybe going into some uh, Mustangs here. I think that was my thought process. And uh, we'll see what my opponent does. Naturally, I do try to sell the sledges here and reposition my units more in this spot here. Why is my cursor this big? What kind of bug was that? And what cursor was that in the first place? Okay, I'm not even sure if this shows on video. Gonna have to check afterwards. I do decide... Oh, yeah, I decide to get some phoenixes. Uh, I definitely need good damage. Now, unfortunately... Yeah, it's not enough to kill a steel boy with one hit. It works for sledges, not for steel boys. My opponent goes for a wraith. While I try to do some front door phoenix sniping. Against Acro, remember, all of the rules go out of the window. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to win. Maybe not play Melter Storm. But that's probably not good into Acro anyway. So, uh, what is my opponent doing? Yeah, he's leveling that, getting some crawlers. Should probably not take more of your time than necessary. My units back here do take a route that is very, very unfortunate for me. But the tower debuff comes in at a fortunate time. Uh, still, this is not exactly good. I mean, I am doing good stuff here, but the phoenixes probably can't eat these units fast enough. But at the same time, it doesn't really matter all that much. I mean, the front door is broken before the flank comes into more of a distraction effect that I could not deal with anyway. My army once again gets absolutely rolled on the ground. But there is really only a wraith for anti-air. And that wraith is getting killed because it's the only thing that's going after the airborne phoenixes. Which means that these two phoenixes get to feast on level 2 balls. That's gonna be a good amount of level progress. Alright, round number three, the last one kinda got saved by the phoenixes, but you could clearly see that I was just getting pushed. We have underground threat, and I think in this specific case it's worth it, my opponent agrees. I've been watching some higher level players, and whenever they do that they go replicate, so I am ahem, replicating that. 
The Replicate War. Special, uh, specialist wise, there is Supply Specialist against Fortified Specialist, so technically my crawlers are stronger. I'm not even sure if it makes that much of a difference. Uh, will this still get destroyed in free hits anyway? Oh, I also get an attack upgrade. My opponent gets a defense enhancement, okay. Technically my crawlers are still better. This is absolutely a free replication zone. At the same time, I have my crawlers here. And I have, uh, yeah, I have spawned in crawlers here and actually, uh, um, no, I have bought crawlers here and spawned in crawlers here. My flank actually works faster than my opponent's. I do get the first tower and there's a lot of crawlers heading for the second tower as well. Meanwhile, every second that passes, the sledges can clear more and more of the chaff. And soon the arc light is going to help a lot. This arc light is up against a lot of crawlers. And a tower debuff, definitely not good. This wraith, however, can eat a lot of crawlers. That said, the phoenixes once again prove to be absolutely vital here. They have been painful, my opponents, so far. Round number... What is this for? Yeah, four. We finally have the unit drops. Against these steel balls, I'm feeling like Vulcans. And uh, I'm not even sure what my opponent picked. Ah, he picked Swasps. I was thinking about that, but I was not sure if that's, that actually was it. I can level these crawlers, and now they will easily win. I think even if he hits Impact Drill, it's not going to matter. However, my opponent has different thoughts. He wants to wraith that, uh, that corner. I seem to have been up against a good amount of uh, wraith, flank, push aggro. Uh, kind of where like this part and this part of the board just gets filled with wraiths and other units. And the opponent desperately tries to push onto a tower. Meanwhile, he drops one pack of wasps to defend here. I do drop additional replicate crawlers. I'm kind of scared of what happens if he just drops some here. And then I drop another phoenix and put it in this spot here. Because right now there isn't any actual defense. Now I can use these shenanigans hopefully to my own advantage. Now the crawlers get eaten before they get to do anything on this side. Maybe a few of them will be replicated upon. Tower debuff incoming in 3, 2, 1, go. And now the Scorps can hopefully start blasting all of the Steel Boys along with the Phoenixes. This poor little arc like once again gets absolutely shredded. Scorpion does what it does best. Kill medium sized units. Next tower debuff comes in basically as the first one expires I think. And the wasps are still stuck on crawlers that they have much effort, uh, have to put in much effort to kill. All in all, a pretty substantial victory so far, except round one, but round one against Acro often turns out bad. It has turned out quite well. We have a battleship incoming. Most likely. And at this point, I'm just trying to get a one or two good rounds and close out the game because his health is definitely going down to critically low levels. I take the battleship. Where did I put it? I think I put it like here somewhere. Yeah. Now my opponent, he also took the battleship and uh, in my I've gotta do whatever it takes to kill my opponent's tower frenzy almost. I uh, forget that I need to defend against this, so I'm really curious what's going to happen because there is these crawlers and those should, in theory, drag the battleship up forward. I do drop a missile here just to solve this problem for a round. And then it's more scorpions and more phoenixes. My opponent goes for range on the steel balls. And we'll see who gets this round. Let's just speed it along. Okay, he puts more stuff in this corner, but there's sledges who can help clear that chaff. And I decide to just throw around some missiles if I can get a good round. It should hopefully turn out well. 
Now this this battleship goes again after some crawlers in the middle. He dropped those uh, in defense. It goes to the side, but uh, is it gonna lock onto the tower? About yes. Towers fall at the same time. The crawlers that I had didn't drag this battleship enough, I guess. So now it's a tower debuff for a tower debuff. The wasps do get cleaned up, but my second tower falls because under the tower debuff, my front line could not hold up against his front line. I still have pockets of units left though. However, there just is too much stuff. He still has chaff. He, he wins against my own battleship. And in the end, it's a loss for me. And that actually was a painful loss because I lost a good amount of eco doing that.